Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today's video is going to be my birthday haul. Uh, before I start, I just want to point out that there isn't a big pile of mess on my sofa. There's a little Darwin there. Darwin! Oh, he's tired. He's a bit tired and he was a bit shaky earlier. Even though, as you can see, there's loads of sunshine in the room, he's just feeling a little bit needy, so... I'm going to put the blanket on him while I'm recording and then I can give him some attention when we're done. Um, I'm not really have any order in doing this so I'm just going to pick it up and go. However, I am leaving my best present till last. Um, this was a book from um, my friend Sarah. Um, it's called The Recipe Keeper. It is so sweet. Um, I love... Oh, let me stretch. Um, I love it. I love cooking and baking and um, it's really great and it's got a few recipes in it. I love that. But um, yeah, there's there's a few recipes in there and then there's sleeves for you to put your own recipes and cutouts from, from magazines and things and there you go, there's a recipe on that page. So I love it and you can keep your, uh, your recipes safe and that's from Marks and Spencers for any of you in the UK that would like that. That one's in Marks and Spencers. Ooh, the nose rolling on the floor. Um, I got a box of chocolates. Um, I think this is from one of my sisters. Um, <laughs> and I got these two cushions. Now these were from the hobby. Um, one says home sweet home and has some flowers on um, and says love these are from dot com gift shop i'm addicted to dot com gift shop i just love all their stuff um i did a haul from them just before christmas i think but i love it it's all little flowery and polka dots and more flowers and i just think they're really cute i love cushions because you can change a room quite easily by just using a few new cushions. I was now having a sniff in the box that I'm picking the presents. We had great fun opening them. He did think that he was allowed to open them and in the end he did. He's right here. Can you see? No, you're not going to be on camera, you're just going to sniff the box. Um, this one, staying on cushions. I love owls. I think owls are very popular at the moment. There seems to be a lot of people liking them. Um, my sister made this. I'm really, you know, she's very clever, bless her, and she's, um, she's poorly, she has MS, um, so I was really, really impressed that she was able to do this, he's got a boogly eyes that shake, but yeah, he's really huge, the only thing is, Darwin has already tried to run away with this, thinking it's a toy, so not quite sure where he will be safe and protected from the Darwin. Uh, the next item... I have a lot of nail items, because um, I like doing nails, as, as you guys know. I've got these um, finishing touches, and they're some transfers that look like butterflies and little diamantes. These, I believe, are from Superdrug. They're really cute, and I'll have lots of fun with those. And then I've got a nail art kit that's got um, a top coat. And lots of little gemstones. I just, every time I look at these things, I'm like, I think of all the fun I'm going to have while doing this. Uh, and then this is also from Superdrug. Darwin's now going to start pulling out toys and making a noise. Um, you wouldn't think. Uh, earlier on, literally, just before I started recording, he was shaking, hence why I put the blanket on him. And now he's throwing things around. Um, again, this is from Superdrug, it's finishing touches and there's glitter and a top coat and some gems. Uh, is there glue? Oh yeah, there's glue. Why would you use glue if you had top coat? Unless it's for when you're putting on on fake nails maybe. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. There's like this white glitter. I think it's going to be fun. And then this is from collection, 
It used to be called Collection 2000, but now it just seems to be called Collection um, um, Bedazzled Nail Effect um, 2T at the Glitz. 2T at the Glitz? Surely that should be 2Ts at the Glitz. I shan't um, grammatically correct my nail polish, but there, it's like a glittery gold. It's a very fine glitter. It's very small. So that's nice. And then there's this little box that I suppose is meant to look like a purse. It's wooden. And take the elastic off and you open it up. And inside there is a little nail file. And there are three glitter nail polishes. Um, this is Pretty much all this nail art, nail art stuff came from my mum because she knows I love it. Um, and this is like, it doesn't say what brand it is, it doesn't say where it's from, it doesn't give a shade, so I'm not really sure where she got it from, but it's this beautiful blue glitter. Um, but there's like a pink glitter in there also, so. Yeah, it's like a, it's mainly blue, but when you get closer, there's like a small pink sparkles in there as well. And then I think this must be my favourite. It's a gold. And it's not coming up on camera. I think every now and then you see a sparkle. But there is very fine, very fine gold glitter in here. But then there is tiny specks of red glitter and then slightly bigger blue glitter in there. Uh, it's just very excited in using this and then a giant gold glitter but this has some blue and bronze glitter in there also I think you can see it a little bit better but it's beautiful the next thing I'm going to show you are some Porter's truffles um these are from John they just say happy birthday um to you as you can see They've already been attacked. Um, <laughs> John buys these for me every birthday and every Christmas um, and I love them and the main reason why I love them is we had these truffles for our wedding favours. Um, example, they're a little bit battered. These are what, these. This is actually one of our wedding favours. Now we've been married three years this year um, and it's been in the fridge ever since. I'm, not sure how good they would taste but every time John said oh should we eat them I've kind of said no because it's like a daily reminder of the most wonderful day of my life so yeah that's why I love those and then I've got this beautiful trinket box it is heart shaped and the little heart shaped lid John bought me this this is from um dot com gift shop I'm addicted to it. it's quite a few bits and pieces that I got was from there. Um, you could use this for whatever I want to. Uh, hopefully I'm going to collect some sea glass and put in here. I, I don't know why but I do love sea glass. Um, I have a little container in the bathroom of sea glass I collected on our holiday in the Isle of Wight. Um, so I'd like to put local sea glass in this one but I just think it's beautiful. Um, slight downside it doesn't fit very well. Um, now I know these things are to look at and you don't really use them for airtight purposes but it's just a bit but hey ho. The next item is um, a little egg cup and this is also from dotcom gift shop or logo. Um, it's got a little blue bird on. I think it is adorable. I'm not going to use it as an egg cup. I'm going to use it as a ring holder. Um, just the wedding rings. Basically, it's going to live next to the sink, and when you do the dishes, you pop your rings in there. Just because I'm going to say a good four out of seven days a week, John loses his wedding ring. So, if we try and put them in the same place, it won't happen. And the next item you knew there was going to be a bit of calf kitten in here somewhere. It's a giant bag, which is perfect. I love the print. Sorry, there is another present in there. But it just fits nicely over the arm. It is a really good size. 
the only doubt is I'd have to make sure I don't fill it because I think it would break my back, but it's beautiful. I'm not quite sure which print this is, but I'll try and remember. And if I do, I'll put it in the video somewhere around here. Um, but I love it. I have put some presents in here just to kind of hold them. Um, in here is a ring. Now, um, we've covered this in previous videos, but I have man hands. So finding costume jewellery is for the fingers is quite hard. So my darling niece that bought this for me, obviously, knew, knows me well. But it's like a rose. It's not really showing up that great. But it looks... It's just like this black and white rose. I love it and because it's stretchy. It fits the man hands. I just think it's fun. And then we've got a few DVDs. Um, I got the notebook. Now, I may be the only woman in creation that's going to say this. I've not seen this film. Um, <laughs> I've never seen the notebook. But I have got a major man crush on Ryan Gosling. I love him. Um, is it called Crazy Stupid Love with him and Emma Stone? I can't remember. That might not be the right film, but there's a film and him and Emma Stone are in it and it's funny and lovely and... I love him. Okay, and the next film I got was The Book of Eli. I've seen this film a good six times. I love it. It's one of those films that I could watch and literally watch again. I just think it's one of the best films ever and I just don't think enough people love it because it's awesome. And then the next film, well this is actually a little box set. This is a zombie triple pack because you know I like my zombies. Um, and it's got Survival of the Dead, Day of the Dead, and Diary of the Dead. So I'm really looking forward to watching this on a night where John's out because uh, he doesn't like zombie films. So looking forward to watching that. And then <laughs> another present from... I do think that John did 90% of his uh, gift shopping at .com gift shop. Um, these are Make Your Own Owls. And they're really cute. And basically it's a kit to make it as you get one grey one and one pink one. And I think it's adorable. And then... <laughs> um, I think this is from the same shop again. Um, basically it is 36 heart shaped baking cases. I love baking. Let's see if I can get them out to show you. They're a bit diddy. See, they're like heart shaped. I don't know if they're for buns or I'm gonna make like little mini quiches or something. Darwin, shush, be a good boy. You wanna say hello? Come on, come on. There you go, you wanna smell? You good boy? Yeah. Yes, you are, yes, you are. You good boy. There you go. He's very playful all of a sudden. Um, and then the last present in here are some Catherson hand creams. And they smell lovely, I do love these. I did get in a nice selection of um, gift cards and um, some people gave me cash. So I shall be heading to the shops. I'm one of those people, in one sense, I'm a really easy person to buy for because I like everything. But on another side, I'm really hard to buy for because I shop quite regularly. <laughs> so I think that causes an issue and that's why some people give me gift cards or, or cash just because I can pick what I want really. Um, and the best present, I said I was gonna save it to last, was um, in my birthday card from John, obviously we don't give each other gift cards or, or cash because we buy each other presents. But in my card from John, there was this. Now, obviously I'm in I'm in the UK, so this is not English money. I go like that. It's for twenty um, Egyptian pounds. So I was like, why have you got me 20 Egyptian pounds? Um, and he's booked a holiday. <laughs> um, yes, so he has uh, 
booked us a holiday in September to go to Egypt. We love Egypt, we went there for our honeymoon, we've gone um, one time after our uh, honeymoon. But yeah, so definitely best present, so really <laughs> excited about that. Um, so yeah, this video is probably long enough as is, but uh, that was my that was my birthday haul. I was very lucky, um, very spoiled, um, very grateful. So uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you've not done already, please check out my giveaway. Um, have a lovely day. Take care. Bye bye.